Monday, everyone. Welcome to Carpool Karaoke. <laughs> Avon. We found a yeah, coffee coffee. shop literally right outside of the car park. Got some tea. It's only 11.38. Tea, <laughs> it's only 11.38. Yeah. <laughs> We've been <laughs> trying to get here since 6 a.m. But we did it and we are very excited to explore. I don't know why, but I am obsessed with this. I think it's the cutest thing. It has lights on it. It's a nice little clock tower. Josh just saw this and darted. $3.50. They're an even better price. I might get a large. <laughs> I am so pumped. I love pasties. I got a ham and cheese croissant and I'm so excited. Even though I know I just said croissants don't sustain me, but this is like a sandwich croissant. It has so, ham and cheese on it. Yeah, exactly. I love pasty, but I'm also very picky and don't like onion or like peppers and stuff. And a lot of them Pretty have much it all in of them it. Have onions. So yeah. This is mine. <laughs> so excited. So heavy. Guys, yeah, this thing is hefty. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Huge. Serious girls. gains. That's a, that's a Sunday roast. Is it hot? <laughs> oh, <boom. Yeah. laughs> this place is so cute. Yeah. Seriously, look at this. Everywhere is adorable. This is like the cutest old town. This is exactly what she said. Yeah. She said, I don't remember much from England, but I remember Stratford being like the cutest town ever. You were correct. Is this going to make your day? Tell me. I just saw a Sainsbury local. What's that? <gasps> With the cookies? Yeah. <laughs> Dave and Courtney tried these cookies yesterday and they were so good and Josh just saw a place that sells them. I'm so excited. I don't think I said this, but when I was like 17, I came here and I didn't really, I don't really remember anything about it except that I remember thinking it was super cute. So that's why we came here. Thank goodness, it is. This is the place. 
on the hunt for cookies. These are the cookies, you guys. These chocolate shortbread ones. Oh my goodness, it's only 165. They are insane. You guys are getting what? Triple. Triple chocolate. Whoa. Triple chocolate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Sunday roast in a hot pocket. <laughs> yeah. This town is my favorite place in England. <laughs> the food. Yeah. We have a lot of hours that we didn't eat already today, so Courtney we gotta says eat it's time we gotta catch up. <laughs> is it as good as you thought? It's delicious. And yeah, just delicious. It was like two pounds cheaper than the one in London. I'm a fan. And, and bigger. Massive. Yeah, and it's huge. Look at that. And mine's gone. <laughs> Dave's a little sad. You guys better get ready to be really annoyed with how many times I say cute in this vlog because oh my goodness, how cute! There's all these colorful tables and then you've got this little miniature castle turret. I, I can't. Can you see these dogs? But they look so nice. They look like wolves. They're huge. Oh my goodness. You are so cute. They're so good. They weren't on leashes at all. Apparently, Stratford-upon-Avon is because this river is, is the Avon. Yes. I had no idea. It is upon it. So, We're the more you know. But what's the name of this park? The Park, park upon Avon. Avon. <laughs> We're walking through the park with the beautiful river right here. How beautiful is that? Look at that old chapel sitting right on this river. We decided. I think we're retiring here. Yeah. Apparently Shakespeare's grave is over there. Oh. Wow. The Holy Trinity Church. Obsessed with all these weeping willows. There was a weeping willow in a lot right by our house growing up. And my sisters and I would always go into it and feel like we were in a fort and then grab onto the branches and like swing around. Cause no one really took care of it. So the branches were super, super long. It was the best. Another cute little walkway. I told them to not get annoyed with how many times I said cute. That's probably good. Cause this place in a word, cute. It's like the epitome of yeah. that word. Charming British town. Hey, we're about to walk up to Trinity Church. Yay, we found it. Yeah. We're in the Holy Trinity Church, which is where Shakespeare's grave is. So beautiful. Whoa. This beautiful wooden ceiling. This huge organ up there. Oh, wow. This might be my favorite church we've been in. That's I know you said is. yesterday that one was your favorite. Yeah. This stained glass up here. It's big, but it's not huge, so it still feels like quaint, like small town church. But like, it's insane. Right? And Shakespeare's buried here. Look at this guy. He's eating the handle. <sighs> Stratford upon Avon. I'm obsessed with you. Wow, this is all a graveyard out here. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That church was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We didn't actually go fully up to see Shakespeare's grave because you had to pay for it, yeah, which I get like they're trying church. to upkeep the church. Found Shakespeare's yeah. birthplace. Yes, we did. And by we found, I mean, there was like a lot of signs pointing to it, but it's this. Ding, ding. Ta-da. It does not look like it has been touched. Look at that. Yeah. Cookie time. This is the famous cookie. Thanks, Joseph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're really dense. There is melt in your mouth because it's shortbread, but it's so soft. It's not like crispy shortbread. And then the milk chocolate, I mean, we're in Europe, so the chocolate's good. I got really aggressive when I said good, I'm sorry. We finished up at Stratford-upon-Avon, which is really sad because we really loved it there, but we have more to see today. So we drove about nine-ish miles, and now we just parked at Warwick Castle. I don't think we're going to pay to go into this castle, but we really want to see the outside and we think we can maybe go into the garden. So slight change of plans. You have to pay like 25 bucks to get even on the castle grounds, even to just see the outside of it. And they've got these like super tall walls all around it. So we're going back to our car and we're gonna drive around and see if we can see it just from afar anywhere. We got a little confused, but we just found the castle. Whoa! That is a fortress for sure. Where we are is the Hill Close Garden, so it's only $2.50 per person, and you get this insane view of yeah. the castle. It's so amazing. we're gonna walk through this garden, and there's this cute little pink house right here. Yeah. It's gonna be good. That is a cool, cool castle. I think that's the biggest classic looking castle that I've ever seen. Yeah, this is amazing. Water in the middle of this garden. That is super, super cool. Yeah. I have my phone camera too. <laughs> the 
That's so cool. This is incredible. Everyone should come here. Coffee. We drove for about 45 minutes and we just got to the University of Oxford, which is the oldest English speaking university in the world. Sure. I got a chai latte. He got a Turkish coffee because that's apparently what they're known for, so that's what we're doing. This is Turkish delight. Woohoo! I wonder if there's an etiquette to this. Like, are you Please. supposed to drink the coffee? Can I have some more wine? Turkish delight? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's really sweet. It's like strong and sweet. Real strong, but it's good. This chai is so good. It's a vanilla chai and it tastes like Christmas. Obsessed. Also, we are now on campus at Oxford University and I'm pretty sure we found Hogwarts. <laughs> How is this a school? Wow. Thank you. Did you go to school here? I'd go to school here, along with Harry, Hermione, and Ron. <laughs> I feel smart just being here. I think that's the music school. I feel smart. The old music school. I feel wise. I think that's yeah. the old logic school. Like these walls Grammar. just have a lot of wisdom. So Metaphysics. Cool. We found the university gift store. <laughs> All four of us ended up getting something because their shirts were so cheap. The shirts were like, what, $8 or something? Or eight pounds? My bad. <laughs> and then I got a crew neck sweater for like 16 pounds. It was so cheap. Colleges in the US, their stuff is like $55 for a t-shirt. <laughs> It's ridiculous. So we all got days. those. I mean, come on. That is just beautiful. God. Woohoo! Whoa! This place is sick. I thought it would be cool and old. This is the coolest and the oldiest. <laughs> this place makes me want to learn, doesn't it? You're still in school and you yeah. said that. I feel like it just inspires you to want to be more educated. Where are we going right now, Joshua? The eagle and child. Josh, what happened behind you? The inklings hung out all the time. Are you so excited? Yeah, it's pretty awesome looking. Wow, that's just so cool. It's still got a very classic vibe. Yeah. It comes in points. I'm good. So cool. Got their pictures up here. Until 1963, the great writers of the Inklings, D.S. Lewis, J.R. Tolkien, Charles Williams, and others met regularly on this spot. The conversations that have taken place here have profoundly influenced the development of the 20th century English literature. So, cool. So I got a steak and ale pie, and Dave got a steak, and we're gonna split it. Mm. They're kind of crispy on the outside of them. They're so creamy. Goodbye, fun corner. Well, that's where they all sat, right there. So the magic happened, mm -hmm. or at least talked about. Yep. We are we excited. Are excited. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't know any of these. <laughs> Sunday roll. <laughs> Sips to you. Pound them! Pound! That's your, your new goal? <laughs> yeah. That window. Boom, boom, boom. You know, weird. It's weird. I know, I was like so good. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with my thumb. Why would you put it down? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> 